Hi, my name is Erin Mitchell and I'm a science teacher here at Palm Beach Day Academy. I currently teach 6th, 8th, and 9th grades. With Earth Day coming up, I thought it'd be a great idea to share with you some of the things that the students have been doing all year long to help the environment. Here we are going into Ms. Brodsky's room. We currently have a grunt there hiding um, and a couple of other invertebrates in this tank. And then here we have, both in my lab and Ms. Brodsky's lab, um, we have the Million Orchid Project that the sixth and seventh graders are working on. Um, this is through collaboration with FAU Pine Jog, and our mission is to repopulate the native orchids that are highly endangered and threatened here in South Florida. The students have been taking care of these guys since they were about one year old, um, and they monitor them, send data to FAU, and we're really missing their work. Right now, I'm just giving them a little mist. This needs to be done about twice a week. Um, the students were really great at it. Here's a mural that my mother painted. Um, well, actually, it's a print of a mural that gives us a little bit of inspiration for linking science to art. Um, and then I wanted to show you um, a mural that one of our eighth grade students, well, actually a group of them were working on it. Um, hopefully, one day, we can finish it. This lagoon, uh, this drift card. This is through Anjari Foundation, and actually, it's a, um, it's a citizen science activity where they, they drop these eco-friendly um, floating cards in the intercoastal, and then see where they end up. It helps teach the kids about ocean currents and how things move from one place to the other. And actually, one of our students in eighth grade found this on the beach, brought it into me, and we're working with them. We had it planned to take the sixth grade students to actually create these cards and drop them in the intercoastal from the public boat ramp, or public docks, excuse me, um, downtown. But unfortunately, hopefully we can do it next year. Some of the students' projects. Oh, I miss them. Some puzzle. This is a brackish water tank um, simulating an uh, estuary. We have our mangroves that we've grown from propagules, and there are a couple fish in there, but I think they're hiding right now. Then we go to this tank. It's got some gorgonia, some different soft corals in here. It's got a banded coral shrimp, but I think he's hiding too. Let me feed them, hold on. This is another tank that we have in the classroom. It's got beautiful soft corals, a lot of different tropical fish, and unfortunately it is a little algae ridden. Um, and this is because I'm only coming in twice a week and I don't have the students to help, but it's okay, everything's healthy. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do some water quality testing in a minute, um, but everybody seems to be happy. Um, let's see, there's a clownfish. There's the anemone back there. Some beautiful coral. Hi, hi buddy. Can you sing hi? Yes, I do talk to fish, sorry. So anyway, I'm gonna go, go to work on this tank so it's not um, covered with algae. There's our little guy over there, squirrel fish. You just, you funny. Over here, we have our invertebrate tanks. Um, these are kind of like our touch, touch tanks that we can use to learn about um, the species. This is another fighting, Florida fighting conch. And here we have Euro crab. And get this, this is one of our star brittles. Hi guys. I definitely miss some of the kids. I frequently play with them gently. Another starfish here. It's beautiful. You can see his feet. There's another guy that's part of our cleanup crew. This is a sea urchin. Can see. Oh, there's the shrimp. Coral banded shrimp. I don't know if you. Oh, I don't know if you can see him there. He's been with us since the very first tank here. Oh, it's so fun to just observe these guys 
don't know if we can see him eating. So much life going on. So I was really excited that I think it was the first day of spring break, um, Dr. Gregory from Reef Institute brought in all these new little coral frags. Um, they're mostly Pacific and they're hard corals and some soft. Um, but these were gonna be what we used for our research this year. The students were designing um, different experiments. Uh, we were gonna do some more fragging and collect data, but there's always later. Going from our research tanks, um, here's our gardening center, which you'll see the garden later. Um, we've got our research tanks ready to go. And then we have our aquaponics system. You know, there were some design issues uh, with this and it was so great to see the students working so hard to try to get it fixed. And what they came up with, um, and we're, we're testing it out, some of the plants are living, but what they came up with was ways, the, the issue was the water flow. So just with the angles and the flow, some places were getting too much water, some places were getting none. Um, so a group of boys decided, thought that maybe latex um, would work. So they, they decided, designed all these different, um, uh, made all these different designs. And then, so we use them as dams to slow the water. Um, and this took some time and where to place them and how to let water flow through and they were successful. So our next stages were to actually be getting the plants in here. Um, so hopefully we'll get back on track with that. Um, this is aquaponics. So yeah, that tank is pretty gross. Um, there's tilapia in there. And the, the purpose is, is that the fish waste become fertilizer for the plants and the plants help filter the water. So it's a very sustainable practice. So now we're gonna go down to the third science lab. Boy, these halls are empty. This tank is near and dear to my heart because this is the very first uh, saltwater tank, coral tank that we got in the school. And it's the very first time that I've ever taken care of one. Um, it's doing pretty well. We've got two little clownfish in there, a lot of soft corals. It's doing really well. Ooh, starfish is out. Beautiful. Oh, we get to go out to the garden. fourth grade garden, um, native habitat with some fruit in it as well. Every year we have the students um, design and plan what they want to add to attract birds and butterflies. We've got some nice papaya. Now this is my favorite. Um, I'm now teaching the eighth grade, but when they were in fourth grade, this is a mulberry bush. And when they were in fourth grade, I remember we used to come out here and we'd pick mulberries and their fingers would turn bright red and their mouths. Let me see if I can find any. Last time I did this, I scratched myself. Oh, well, here's some that aren't ripe yet. Oh, they're so delicious and sweet. Hang on, I bet I can find some. Huh? Jackpot. Yay, even if I just get one, it's delicious. I wish the kids were here to share. Obviously we haven't tended to the garden in a while, but we still got some good stuff going. This year we partnered with Locks Farms. So we got, um, the kids helped make six new raised garden beds. And for a sustainable feature, we have the drip line irrigation, which is great. This lettuce is looking really good. Not ready yet. Looks like some of this bok choy is still good. I'm gonna harvest some and show you what I get. Once again, I wish I could share it with the kids. Some more bok choy. Oh, wow. These tomatoes are delicious. These are Everglades tomatoes. Look at that. Amazing. Taking care of itself. Let me try one of these guys. I'm gonna win a harvest and I'll show you what I get. Here we have some cilantro. I picked a couple eggplant last week. There's some here. I think some of the people that have been working here too, I told them to go ahead and pick it. Oh, ladybug larva. There's another, oh, so cool. Look at the flowers, they, they're so beautiful. Wow, 
last year we found so many different species of um, ladybugs and I didn't even know, um, I learned last year that we have white ladybugs here. So pretty cool. Ladybugs are really, really good for the garden because they eat aphids, aphid, aphids and other uh, pests that destroy. I see something's eating this. I don't know, I'll have to check more. Anyway, oh, this is a good one. Let's see, I gotta get my clippers. All right, let's go over here. Here's the herb garden. Oh my gosh, here's some dill, it smells so good. Oh. And here's some, uh, some Thai basil. Yum. Oh no. Wait. Oh, this is dill. This is fennel. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. I mixed that up. Beautiful basil. Um, here's some radish starting. Some more radish. And here are our rainbow carrots. Let's see if any are ready. See what color I get. Um, let's see this guy. Ah, not ready. Let's see. I bet this is a purple one. Let's see. At least that. Last year we got such crazy carrots. Huge carrots, and they were all funny shaped. All right, still have to wait on those. All right, well, thanks for checking out the garden with us.